All right. Uh, let's see. How do the pro Minecrafters start this? Hello. By having a British accent. Hello. My name's Talon Lee. I regret this already. Yeah, I bet you would. Uh, anyway, uh, it's been a couple of months now of playing Minecraft on and off with Fox on our home network, and I thought it would be a chance to show people, uh, you know, just what we've made together. It is not super impressive. This is not going to get me six million followers on the YouTubes. But still, let's start by heading towards our house. Here is a little pumpkin farm, and we'll come and show off how that works later. The house. This house is something that has evolved in very clear stages. It started out as a very simple shoebox. Hmm. I normally don't play with the sound on, so I wasn't aware of that dispenser clicking all the time. I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, you, oh, you weren't. I was not. I was not aware. <laughs> this is a house. Here's a living room. Here are these lovely... There appears to be a monster outside playing with fireworks. Uh, but here, here, are the, <laughs> here are some lovely dining room chairs. Here is my lovely kitchen, which I'm very happy with. The smoker, some barrels for food storage. Uh, that is clearly a uh, mounted freezer, like you see in the 1970s. All right. Uh, here is what every boy like me needs a large empty room that you forget about and never decorate now what's that sound out the back whereabouts is that sound coming from what's up <laughs> the uh huh I thought that was you sneaking up on me, actually. Ah! Uh, so, this is a land world. Uh, I'm sharing it with Fox. And I thought I was being wicked. Yes, I, I thought you were being wicked. I thought you were genuinely being wicked. I was just being on brand. Yep. Ah! I... We just had a puppy. Uh, what? I, I accidentally made a puppy. Fox accidentally a puppy. Okay, let's go find Fox. <laughs> I what? didn't realize that just feeding them would be enough to make a puppy. Do you know how good Fox is at Minecraft? I made two puppies. Fox Fox is the best at Minecraft because she knows how breeding works. <laughs> uh, good job, dogs, I guess. Yep, those those dogs are all very impressive. Okay, so oh, now wow, instead of seven dogs, we have nine dogs. Big-headed, ugly child. That's beautiful. How dare you! Here are all of the wolves that Fox is able to find. Fox doesn't actually spend that much time on this uh, this server, which means that all of these fox, all of these wolves, when she's not here, just sit down and ignore me, and I can't get them to move. It's not my fault. That's the only thing they do. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, look how he wags. You're gonna need to get a name tag. Oh, I, they can't eat until they're grown ups, I guess. Uh, you can you can give them food, and it will give them like increments of age. Not that one. Uh, but yes, this is, just made him sit. This is Fox's variety of different fantasy wolf dogs that she wants. So, Ada and Ghost and Rush and Rowdy and Reuben and the two little puppers. Yeah, Hunter could, and could come up with some more names. See though, I don't want it. I know I'm missing one of them. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm not. Hey, this one's Seth. This is what her current D&D &D character is called. That character's a werewolf. What? Who told you a scurrilous rumor like that? Anyway, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> these dogs are why we have a giant fenced backyard. Because obviously we couldn't not have them fenced. That would just be foolishness. I am a responsible dog owner. Yep. Does, isn't this the face of responsibility? There you go. <laughs> now my planet needs me. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so one thing Fox likes to do compared to me is she likes to explore. So what I did was I used server powers to go around the world and uh, plant some things to be found as special rewards for going and exploring. One of the items was an elytra. And uh, that's how Fox can fly. Yeah. Ow! Oh no! I forgot about that! Run away! I'm standing still and not attacking. They are not attacking me. Oh, okay. But they like you now for some reason. Just moving carefully (laughs) away from the dogs. (laughs) Criminy Smithers. (laughs) Hurrumph! I just wanted to give you chicken. You wanted to punch me in the face with a chicken. Yeah. That's, that's how not, monsters give chicken. That's not how you give people things. You ding dong. It's Minecraft. We have limited actions. Uh, here's a nice little cave, which I accidentally made while carving out this area for my growing. I have a backyard, which has got amongst it a uh, grove area. See how this area has got these pumpkins designed to make this area all nicely lit up and fences to keep the raiders out this area can generate quite a lot of wood very naturally very slow Uh, that's one of the reasons why my axe is enchanted the way it is because i need to make sure i can always keep it mended Um, but that's that's the surroundings of the house It's always good when you hear the monster set off a firework <laughs> and then say, uh-oh. Everything's fine. Everything's fine? Why would you think otherwise? Okay, so everything's fine. Yes. Okay. So let's have a quick look around the house. We've had the kitchen and the downstairs area. Let's check up upstairs. This area used to be primary storage. Everything here used to be labeled and signed and set up to make sure that every single object we had could be correctly put away by someone who didn't necessarily have the system memorized. I had the system memorized, Fox didn't. Um, so there was a lot of times where she would come to me yelling, going, where is the obsidian box? And I'd be like, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, that's this box over here, hiding in this corner here. Why didn't you know that? <clears throat> yeah. In my defense, system is a very loose term there. Sy- system is overstating things a touch, yes. Uh, this is my bed. Uh, this is where I store some of my personal gear. And this is just an awning area over the living room. I, you know, I, I'm not exactly sold on precisely what I'm uh, doing with this upstairs space, but, you know, it's here. And up here, 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 we have a wizard's towel. And you know it's a wizard's tower because the beam of light that passes through, you can entreat it and enchant things. Uh, yeah, so beacon light will pass through an enchanting table. So that's what's up there in that ceiling. An enchanting table. And there's some lapis here, and there's a pickaxe that's to be enchanted if we desperately need it. Uh, this also is, was the original launching area for the monster, because the monster was not good at takeoff and landing, though, you know, you appear to have improved. The monster was perfectly fine at takeoff and landing. The server was not very happy about it. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Yep, uh, that's, that's, uh, that is the, uh, workman blaming some tools. And so there's the tower. Hi. You don't look super suspicious there at all. Yeah. Now let's both just back away slowly. Hey, right. so that's our, that's our upper levels. That's our, that's the house house. She's following me. Ah! <laughs> I can't go outside now until the dogs have calmed down. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that. They're all sitting at the moment. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the uh, this is our basement, uh, and here is the furnace. And this would be, um, what's the appropriate term for this kind of space, Fox? 
Leia. Oh, this is my room. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, he changed it around a bit, so I didn't really recognize it at first. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hair box. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is my hair box. That's my skull. Yeah, she got a skull. And uh, I'm not going to look in these boxes, but that's where various monster treasures are kept. You can look if you want. I don't want to worry people. Um, and this here is my pride and joy... Uh, of this house, I guess. Uh, XP farm and super smelter array. It's it's not a super smelter by the standards of a serious Minecrafter, because it's actually quite slow, but the issue is it just keeps working and will continue working consistently. Uh, it will always be cooking cactuses and always be providing with enough fuel to cook. Um, I can go and shut that off, and we'll have a look at that in a bit, but for now, the main thing is that we have we have enchanted our gear with mending, and that means that we can always get access to uh, enough XP to repair all of our gear. And anything you want to smelt, you just huck it in this chest, and it will get fed into the system, and it will get cooked. So, uh, what happens if I throw something in there that can't be cooked? Uh, you'll jam up the works. Good to know. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, and it will just be easily found, because I've made it so that accessing this stuff's maintenance area is now just something you can do, instead of a massive pain-in-the-butt effort like before. Um, that's our layer to the, that's our, uh, um, transport tube to the lower reaches. We'll go there later. Um, and now more of our basement level. Down here we have a food cellar. All of these are full of various produce from the farm upstairs. I made it to look a bit like a wine cellar. Because, I don't know, I kind of like the way the scaffolding and the barrels interacted. It's technically less efficient, but, you know, I like the aesthetic. Uh, let's see. Cooked produce. Yeah, and, and um, I believe these are just full of bamboo. From back when I started farming bamboo and didn't realize just how much bamboo grew. <laughs> are you putting something rude in there or are you stealing carrots? No. <laughs> I was laughing at you and bamboo. Yeah, yeah. I... I I, I did not predict exactly how much bamboo we would generate, and I did not predict how I would use it, so I guess I'm just a victim of my own bamboo bris. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Wait, um, wait, wait. Come back. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> just realized I had the perfect thing in my hand for that game. <laughs> you can have the potato back. Okay, uh... This is another empty room that I haven't done anything with yet. See, I just lost her. She just zoomed straight on past. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I, I, uh, you see, a lion. You see, uh, these monsters, a type of super lion, track track objects by movement. And if I sit, don't make still, me sick. Twelve dogs on you. <laughs> Thirteen dogs now. Um, no, I went from seven to nine. Oh, okay. Uh, and Nine this, dogs. This is a bamboo farm. So if I need 13 dogs Sorry, not a bamboo farm. This is a, a bone meal farm. Where all of these cactuses are popping quietly and landing in those um, hoppers. And then that's getting fed into a composter. And that composter is feeding into a, into a uh, chest. This is because I understand Fox needed a large amount of bone meal for some white dye. Um, and it, it'll just quietly trundle away and work on its own and if fox is ding bad enough to break the glass she gets to land on a bunch of cactuses i don't know why you think i was wanting to do that <laughs> come on come up come away from the destructive impulse please <laughs> i'm very proud of you <laughs> um another small room don't know what i'm going to do with this one uh, I thought about making this a map room, but then I decided I needed a map room elsewhere. Um, some access tubes for various parts of the system. Here's the map room. You you can come in. <laughs> you don't like maps? Are you mad at me for going and getting these maps on my own and not, not getting you to... Aww. I just don't trust new things. Oh, okay. 
If it helps, it's a big thing I worked hard on that you can mess up. What do you think I do? <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, if that would make you happy. See? Stop it! <laughs> okay. Um, and that's us there. That's the house. And that's the yard next to it, and that's the trees out back. All this underexplored territory. There is actually a, a little feature um, over here. Um, see this? Um, I made a chessboard out in the middle of nowhere just to see how it would look. And uh, no, I do not see it. Then I left it alone. Um, it's it's very small. It's it's like an eight by eight pixel thing. Ah, ah, ah. Mon Monster envoy shoving table action. Uh, it's on this. Whoops. Yeah, it's on this tile. Oh, that. Yeah. There's also um, a boat in the river that I built. Sorry, not river in the pond. This really does make me feel like I need need some ocean if I was going to build like a boat. Well, we've got ocean. Yeah, just not not here on this map. On that's, this map. That's, that's that's like a like speaking as a coastal Australian, that's a lagoon over here. This this is not ocean. <laughs> Tidal estuary. Look at the tree farm. That is so much bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's pretty honking huge. I mean, like, the, the pumpkin farm is also pretty big, really. We've still got surface lava. But I had destroyed all of my nemesis. Yeah, Fox, Fox doesn't like lava. And Fox is not a fan of what lava does to the game. Um, and you can see up there, like, that, that there up the top is the, um... Do you want to go, do you want to go check out... Uh, no, we'll do that after we check tour the rest of the house, but we'll go check out the um, stockyard, I guess we call it. The animal pens. Oh, sure. All right. Um, so we have some more rooms that are currently unoccupied. If, say, Fox wanted to do anything with a big, dumb room. I don't. Yeah, Fox likes little cramped rooms. I do. Fox basically wants to live in a closet. Her ideal Minecraft room is a dirt hut that's two by two, maybe. There's no room for anything to sneak up on me. Yeah, and no room for any lava to drip in. Doesn't trust any of these tall ceilings. But what's um, going on out here? Oh, they're just they're just maintenance passage. They're just trapdoors being made to look like tubes going going through the ceiling, like heating ducts. You're uh, you're just uh, gonna open them all? Sure, I'm. Just leave them like that, will you? No, I won't. <laughs> Destructive little imp. <laughs> Because the truth is, I like messing with your stuff, but I hate leaving things untidy. <laughs> it's hard to be a gremlin when you have a native urge to clean <laughs> too. Yeah. Stuff up! St clean stuff up! Yeah, that's gonna get censored with Phew, the Saved it! <laughs> uh, I like these, I like these, um, uh, um, torch mounts, but the thing is, they need an anvil each. Hey, talent, get in. Uh, yeah, I, I guess this is the place I need to warn you. Um, these three barrels, anything you put in them will get fed into the lava. Okay? So, don't... Don't put anything in there you're not actually okay <laughs> He's with. He's right to warn you! <laughs> and, and I'm right to be worried that you might do something foolish if you didn't know. Please. I saw the sign. Now, I, I can set it up so it, like, hucks them into the lava and you get, like, a comical display, but... Ooh, that would be better. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will consider making it huck them into the lava. Anyway. Um, stone cutting bench. You know, just for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> Every time you look at me directly, it's like, why are you asking me these questions? Why do you treat me with such disrespect? <laughs> uh, and these are some exits. This loops us back around. Root. Yep. Oh, I see. Yeah. See? Your house... Sorry, your bedroom is now the center of attention for the basement level. What? What part did you miss about no room for anything to sneak up on me? It is technically a dead end. It's a cul-de-sac. Just as well. If you ignore the exits. Anyway, um... Mm. Meanwhile, hey Fox, do you want to go show off your cabin? Sure. Come with me. Going the wrong way. Nope. 
I don't want a stupid, ugly tunnel to cabin. I'm gonna fly like a real man. I can't fly. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> also, uh, check out what's directly beneath your cabin. <laughs> I hate lava! Fox doesn't like lava. I'm gonna go kill it. Yeah, perfectly reasonable. It is technically your territory. I'm not gonna fight you on that. Get to hear all the barnyard sounds as we go up. If you find anywhere I take a crap is my territory. <laughs> <laughs> my, this is going up a long way, isn't this? You emerging from a from a um, scaffolding tower is quite unsettling. <laughs> it's a little floor frog. Well, isn't this a charming little place? Why? What? What clever and ingenious monster devised this beautiful little living arrangement? Uh, this is my cabin. It's lovely, and I built it. Yes. I did not make an entrance into the fireplace. That was Dingus over here's genius idea. I thought you might enter through the door! She's, uh, she's mad about <laughs> Oh, okay. I've now been evicted. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try and give you a good look at this lovely, lovely cabin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is currently got a monster inside. Uh, silk, you know, various snow layers. You, you know, th thanks to silk touch uh, shovels to get those. Um, icicles, which are made out of, uh, I want to say they're made out of panes of glass. Yeah. Um, and huh, nope, not gonna happen. Um, hi, hi, monster. I was admiring your beautiful house and marveling at how lovely it was while out here in the cold. Anyway, uh, I also made... Th Ow! <laughs> I also made this wooden path <laughs> uh, and put pressure plates on it to both give it an interesting sound and to keep the snow from caking up on it. Also, I guess at some point, if we wind up starting to trap each other, this is just the worst path ever and the least secure thing. Um, but that's not likely to happen, because I would build an elaborate redstone trap, and she would punch me to death in my bed. Dogs, man. Yeah. Um, this path leads to... This This path is, um, is made to be a nice little scenic tour around the mountainside. Look at that. I built an isolated cabin in the mountains so as to not be disturbed and do not disturb the nature around me. And then mysteriously a path appeared to it and a bridge. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Do you want me to start tearing this stuff down? I can do that. I don't want you to destroy what you've done. It's just kind of ironic. Well, there's also this lovely hot spring. I do like the hot spring. Yeah. I don't like not floating in the hot spring. You want to move off the stuff that sucks you down then? <coughs> no. Over here. This spot here. It's not that I can't find a place to float. <laughs> it's it's just wanna... that you can't float natively in water in Minecraft unless you put the up jets in it. Huh? Right? Yeah, you can. Look. No, you gotta swim. Oh, 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 I see. Yes, I see. What you you can't just sit in it and float like a relaxing hot bath. Yeah. That, that's all I was saying. So what you're saying is I should set up some spaces that are like this. Aren't they? Oh, look at the happy monster. I mean, I wouldn't say this seems relaxing, though. No. It's kind of 
slightly nauseated. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I made this whole space to be just a, a a lake up above, which you could water lift up through, and then it froze over while I was building it, and I realized that's what happens when you build lakes this high up in the air. Um, <laughs> and how do we get down, Fox? Well, in my day... Well, that was just rude. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. Sure did. You're lucky I made my dog sit. <laughs> I, got, I came out the wrong <laughs> side. <laughs> no, no. I think we came out the correct side. <laughs> Standing across the divide, staring through the pouring rain. So, hey, Fox, what's this? Besides, weren't you going to go look at the animal pens? Look, like this animal pen? Here? I guess so. Ugh, it's kind of a mess. It is. I never finished filling in the tree canopy. Mm. Just wanted my foxes to be safe. So this is a pen Let's see for... see if they're around. Foxen? I thought there was only one fox. Well, there were two foxes. Oh. Then someone turned on monsters for the server. Oh. Foxes by default are going to leave... No, not really. No. Yeah, here he is. Well, yeah, I put a long-lasting invulnerability buff on Frisk here. Uh, and I have been playing this long enough that the... Uh, oh, that's not a berry, that's a spider eye. Right? Damn, I don't think he wants that. Alright, get out then, stop disturbing him. He likes dark. Yeah. Oh no, he's following you. Is he? Well, he's running outside. Oh. Hey, Frisky. Frisky, Frisky, Frisky. It's alright. Don't chase him. You won't freak out. Ow. Stood in berries. There you go. Have some berries to give him. Makes very cute squeaky noises. You know where he went. Yeah. Well, I'm leaving him alone. Yeah. Uh, this whole area has been the result of... um. Various attempts to build a fox-proof canopy, and I don't mean foxes in the person, I mean foxes in the animal. Um, the problem is that apparently foxes like low light levels so they can go to sleep, but they also like um, closed areas, and low light level and closed... Monsters. Yeah, that tends to get monsters happening, and like we didn't want him to get creeped. Oh, uh, he ran back inside the cave. There he is. Let's see. Let's see if he wants berries. Hey, buddy. We are now witnessing a monster attempting to give berries to a fox. Right. Out of the way! You don't do them like that. You go up to a right clicking, don't you? If you throw them, they pick them up. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to do. Because you don't just run up to a wild animal and shove food in its face. You leave the food for it to take. And you let it take it however it's comfortable. What the devil made that noise? Mm -hmm. Bat takes off, according to my subtitles. Alright, I believe it's a stare off now. Huh, weird. What a cute little fox. He's cute. Clearly not hungry. Oh, there we go. Whoa. He's interested. Whoa. There we go, see? So we didn't wow, Fox screeches. To. Okay. Yeah. Did he take it as soon as I stopped watching? Mm, nope. I think he wants it, but he's not taking it. <laughs> it doesn't trust he you. He keeps coming back for it. What if I crouch? I hide. Anyway. What we've learned is that foxes are ultimately still wild animals and you can't control. I don't know if that's how things work in Minecraft. Uh, it might well be that foxes are indeed completely controllable and probably are part of some farm somewhere. But for now, I'm just going to keep moving and check out the animal enclosure. Well, I have maxed out Fis Frisk's friendship. But he still acts like that. 
Well, it's also possible that long-lasting buff I gave him messed with other values he has. It might be that his friendship is not, in fact, maxed. But, but you know, this is, this is me playing around with console commands like a capricious god going, I don't know, in much like a great god would. Work it out. Alright. Hello, monster. Up the path, with a noble waddle, comes the monster. <laughs> In the enclosure with the rest of the animals. Okay, uh, so here is my first XP farm, technically. Uh, just this cave area, which I carved a chunk out of to make fences and whatnot. A whole bunch of seeds. Just, just because chickens kept flying over the fence. Yeah, yeah straight up. Eh. Got sick of them getting out of containment. Just couldn't manage to get over the gate, I guess? Yeah. yeah. No, chickens, man. They're dumb. Um, some horses and some oh, it's very, our horses. very stylish horse armor. The latest. She's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> um, pigs. Cute little piggies. A uh, whole bunch of cows. Um, so, of all the various stock here, um, I've kind of just stopped eating everything here now that I've got the XP farms that I've got downstairs in the basement area. So, these sheep exist mostly for wool. And the pigs exist mostly because, you know, eh, it's another color of, uh, of stock, of livestock to keep. <laughs> um, and the cows are here because very occasionally I need a lot of leather for a whole bunch of item frames. And the ensuing cow apocalypse oh. makes me feel extremely guilty. And what okay. happened here? Wow, good question. What the snurt? It's like someone took your gate. I, look. You got a gate thief. I'm not going to lie. My very first instinct is to blame you. I know it's not you. Oh, would I need You wouldn't a gate think for? of that. Um, and you wouldn't come in here and you haven't been here for months. And it's definitely not you. But I want you to know your love of mischief is so deep that I looked at that hole and went, that's probably a fox thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping I could crouch under it. I thought that would look funny. It would look very funny, but unfortunately, you can't. Know your limits, monster. Meanwhile, the sheep are dancing on hay bales. Totally normal. You're not normal. It's true. I'm not. Anyway, uh, and yeah, this this naturally occurring little area, um, I planted some big uh, spruce trees. Of course, I can't really show you what it looks like from down here, from, from up above, because, you know... I don't have an elytra. Um, Fox is now... Fox! Llamas, llamas, llamas. Don't harass the alpacas. Llamas. D don't be an alpaca harasser. Yeah. Are they spitting at you? No. They like me. Okay, they don't like me, but they're not spitting on me. Llama steps. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, the, the pigs can see your potato. <laughs> Man, I wish I was missing heart so I could just eat it in front of them. <laughs> yeah, remember, Fox is the one who remarks about my Minecraft practice as being cruel. <laughs> I... I don't share food with pets. You make battery farms. Uh, I think you'll find I don't. Well, did. Yeah. Hey, when you need a lot of supply of leather, you need got to have some way to get it. Wow, thanks, capitalist. It's actually even more horrible now with the new patches in order to prevent too many things being in one spot. Um... There's this effect called entity cramming, where if you have, like, I think it's 29 of a, of a mob in the same square, it just kills off the oldest one. 
You just spawn them into a bucket until they so start just, exploding. So you just you? breed cows in one square until the oldest ones start dying. <laughs> yep, I hate it. Uh huh. Um, we also have that up there on the hill. What? Up where? Okay. Um, if you look up in the direction I'm looking. What direction is that, Talon? Assume I'm in the air. Well. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Oh, you little fort up here? Yeah. Do I know how's a monster flying in to take it over as we speak? Uh, yeah, I I, I guess that's exactly the one I'm talking about. Ah, it's mine now. Oh, I I worked hard on that. And it's mine! Good job! (laughs) This is, by the way, what it's like mostly living with Fox. It's a sequence of King of the Hill arrangements. (laughs) Whose trifle is this? That's inaccurate when you made it for me. It's true. It's true. And this is all just the the immediate surroundings around our house. We haven't even shown, like, the the deep downstairs, and we haven't shown the the other uh, stuff around the place. Uh, All my... Many interviews. Ah! Oh, hey, look, an un- unoccupied keep that nobody owns. He says, eventually reaching the top. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Fox, uh, do not repeat, do not damage the bottom of that scaffolding while I'm up here. <laughs> Ooh, that would be such a good trick. <laughs> Ah, but you'd have needed. Surprise! To oh no, it's a monster. <laughs> Did you call me a floor frog? A floor frog, yes, definitely a floor frog. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Jumping on your head. <laughs> oh, sorry, you keep pushing me off it. Anyway, yeah, this is just a thing I built up here because I had all this stone. Kind of hard to get down those stupid things. Is that easier? <laughs> you look so affronted, <laughs> so unhappy with the indignity in which I had to this one. I mean, good job breaking your scaffolding, I guess. No one goes up there now. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Pick up my stuff. <laughs> You've got your stuff. I do? Huh. Yeah. yeah, you see, Fox really didn't like the way that the game reset when she died. So we've got a rule set on this server that on death, you just go back to, um, uh, sorry, you keep all your stuff. You keep your XP, you keep your gear, it just hangs around your body. Is, is that a fair representation? I would have included the part where I got p- being killed by a server lad one too many times. Yeah. It's not just that I'm a baby who thinks hard mode sucks. It's also that the game just cheats sometimes. Yeah, as far as the actual smelter goes. Yeah, I uh I I used a lot of iron for this. Well, the good news is you sent me back to an outer territory, so have fun recording a video in your own, I guess, loser. That is so upsetting. <laughs> Sorry. Was it being trapped in my head, or just the fact yes. that I can teleport you? Okay. He was like, hang on, if that actually is upsetting, I should definitely never do that. I'm super sorry. But if it's just, ah, graphics do weird things. Like, well, you're a graphic designer. You can well, do that. Well, clearly you didn't learn anything from City of Heroes. It is extremely rude to teleport someone without asking first. Nah, that's fair. And now, the, the noisy and ridiculous thing that powers all that farm... Oh, I've never been in here before. Occasionally needs resetting. There we go. If, uh... 
<laughs> Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha Unless. Okay, I didn't do it. I I did. I turned it off. See this? Big switch. I mean, the switch is all over the place. Yeah, but this one big switch. This one, this one here. They're all the same size. They're what? switches. I want you to follow my gaze. No, no, I, I know which switch you're talking about, but you're like, the big switch, like, that would identify it somehow. <laughs> this switch is the one that turns off both farm, turns on or off both farms. And this one over here is bamboo. And this one over here is cactus. And when they're off, they do not make noise. This is all, like, almost directly underneath your, um, dog, um... What's the word for it? The covered area where the dogs go? The yard? The yard, yeah. Well, the, the covered area, the little... Mm. It's a shelter, I guess. Right, yeah. It's just... I mean, it's just an awning they can sit under because I felt really shitty when they're outside getting rained on. Yeah, you felt really bad about them getting rained on? Yeah. What? Darn. <laughs> anyway, uh, shall I turn it back on? Is it okay for me to turn it back on again? It's your smelter. Wolf pants. Where'd you get wolf pants? <laughs> Alright, so that's, uh, that's how, you know, that's most of the what's under the house. And then there is the deep area. Wow. This whole door system I designed was very much made for one person. So the fact that I closed doors behind myself is, like, it makes me feel very impolite when you're following me. <laughs> down. I guess you should have thought of that. Down, down, down. In fact, this elevator is only designed for one person at a time, too, so... Be interesting to see what happens there. Yep, there I go back up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hello, Pulse Extender, my old friend. See, in other types of servers, when they're very... Uh, it, it's reset. In other types of servers... When I they know, go, I'm halfway down already. <laughs> in other types of servers, they just leave that area down there open. It's just like, yeah, there's an up channel and a down channel. tell me everything. Why don't... I'm trying to communicate cleanly with you, and I apologize. All right. Uh, so this is the area that started out as a farm, uh, like a, a mine, and then I got an idea of watching a YouTube video, and I made a TNT replicator, and then I went AFK and left it, and that's why I have this gigantic space, and I actually smoothed out the floor manually. Um, yeah, there's, there's a ton of mining down here that just needs to be done. Like there's this, there's seams of of coal and iron. I have picked up all the diamonds I could spot, but yeah, this is just an area with just a lot of stuff in it. Would, would you... <laughs> I can reach it! Fox likes mining. No, I hate leaving things behind. Okay, Fox likes stuff. No. <laughs> Might I Fox hates lots. <laughs> <laughs> Fox hates loss. No! No! I see what you're doing! Stop it! You must be stopped. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so this is a great big area that, uh, um, in fact, the the uh, area branched out and hit a mine over here as well, like an actual naturally generated mine area. Uh, so there's just a lot of TNT damage, a lot of really weird stuff that's only been minorly cleaned up, like, you know, leaving a list of online. Um, and these crates are, I mean, like, look at this, look at this, just haven't bothered. Oh, jeez, makes me feel so lazy. Anyway, uh, and there's, like, crates of torches, I think, down here. Yeah, just because I knew that I'd need it and a whole bunch of stuff to gather. Yeah. So, 
So, if you make something silly off YouTube that involves replicating TNT, uh, pay attention to that. Don't, um, don't leave it AFK for a couple of hours. I'm going to simplify that for you. If you ever use explosives at all, you know, stick around. Don't just leave them and see what happens. Bear in mind, uh, Fox may have earlier today said, you're not my dad. Um, Whereas you know, she very feels very free to uh to, to to yell at me about what I should be doing. Oh hey, it's you got me a Christmas present. Thank you. Ow. Was that not what you wanted? A shovel to the face? <laughs> I was implying you got me coal. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> What's in this crate? Okay, nothing. Cool. It's gonna be All real right. funny when you go back do the edit and realize what I said was you're not my mum. Oh, okay, that's right, fine. And now... Brave Explorer? What? What? What, what, what are you... <laughs> Ding hole? Get, <laughs> Get in the hell portal. <laughs> Get in, losers, we're going to hell. <laughs> Don't be your worst, this looks legit. Okay, uh, yeah, so... This is our Never Hub. Which I very painstakingly built... Um, and then learned how to make in cheeky ways. Do you like this view? Yeah. I am so proud of this. This took so much time to make. Um, so, so you see how it's made up of these columns. They reach, I think they reach like seven down into the lava or less. Because what I did is I got down to the level of the lava and I used a piston to one by one just push down one more block. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. I'm impressed. I thought you would have just gone down to lava and left it at that. No, Good no, they you. actually do hit the ground level. I'm, I'm quite well. They might hit the ground level. They, like if it's a, if it's like an eight deep lava, then no, it doesn't hit the ground level. But I'm not going to go check. They are you going to go check? No. Nah, don't, don't break the glass. What makes you go break the glass? Is it a destructive little gremlin? Okay. Um. So what Fox has done. <laughs> what Fox has done is go out in various long distance explorations and made nether portals and then I've made these sequences of tunnels connecting them all up <coughs> uh, we are however terrible at signposting this stuff so I mean what that's very straightforward this goes to the mansion and to something else and needs a tunnel <laughs> yeah well seaside mansion reef Mansion plus other need tunnel. I don't remember that, what that's for. Um, over here, uh, tree and coast. Also, big rift hole. Um, yeah, because of the big rift hole, you ding dong. <laughs> and then, savannah, jungle, islands. Actually, I think I've provided, like, I think I've actually done something down this one. And, oh. Oh, I'm so jealous of your elytra right now. Oh, no. I'm so mad. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to play fair. Yeah. That's <laughs> a sucker's game. Oh, look at that. This is a Christian Minecraft server. Hub! I'm sure I meant the lava dripping through the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Seems it's safe. safe. Seems it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, just, it's meant to do that. Um, The jungle fork? And the savannah? You want to go to the jungle fork? Apparently I do. This <sighs> is savannah. Not jungle fork. Oh, so bad. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go splat on the glass at the end at no. least? Ha. Ha. I uh, am not a baby. Grumble, grumble. Yep. Um, yeah, I think this is one you discovered. That's like all of them but one, remember? Oh, yeah. Hey, no, this is perfect. Some achacha wood. Yeah. Uh, this is me trying vaguely to fortify my position while I was building out here. Yeah. I don't like monsters very much. Well, they're currently off. It's all good. Because at last check, this is the thing you're working on up here? No. Over there. Over there. 
So can you describe what you're working on here? Uh, well, I'm trying to make a really sort of flat, gradual hill. Mm. Uh, but to do that, I have to remove the sharp hill that was here. And it's yep. boring and takes forever. Yeah, uh, a sharp, flat-topped hill, by the way, is known as a butt. Well, I don't want a butt. Yep. You want to place it with a gentle rolling hill, like you said. Yeah. I, I was aiming for something that looks very uh, authentic to Australian countryside. Um, but there is no Minecraft biome which looks like that, so I had to settle I, for just brown grass. <coughs> I do like this grass as that color, though. Like, this, this, this color scheme yeah. of this area does feel very true to, like, a gum tree forest. The terrain is wrong because Australia is pretty flat on average. Um, and the trees are... I mean, they are what they are. We have acacia here, but I think it's very different to what Minecraft thinks acacia is. Yeah. Uh... A cha cha. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna call that to differentiate it now. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and the, and these winding rivers and all that stuff. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, you could probably see like kinda like this in the Murray Vill Murray River Valley area, but Oh, there's definitely bits of Australia that look like this, but the bit I'm going for is like out Gosford Way. And it is oh. a lot flatter than this. Yeah. So the plan is at some point to come back here together. Um Maybe with some boxes to store <sighs> goods and just flatten this um, whole hill. It's right? a lot of explosives, I guess. I, I, I think it's probably better to do it with shovel and stick, especially now that we've got like the the XP farm but it's furnace. <laughs> I've broken so many tools already. That's what mending is for. <sighs> well, if you want mending, you have to walk home. Ah, that's true. That is true. Okay, my bad. Um, still. Anyway, it's cool having a beacon out here, though. That made it go a bit faster. Yeah. But, like, it just seems like one of those things where, uh, you know, a professional Minecraft would be like, and now, super fast time lapse, and boom! Go! Yeah. And, and it would be done. Um, but that's because those people can do that as a, as a job. Yeah, take that. More coal, thank you. Yeah, I sort of started flattening out one hill, but then I flattened it out far enough that I had just connected it to another hill. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's really annoying. I'd love to just build the dang house, but... Yeah. Well, I'm, I uh, I might come back here and do this uh, do a bit more of this on my own, if you don't mind. I mean, it's not your job. No, but it's something that would make you happy, right? I guess so. And we share this space. Right? So. Yeah. I just don't want you to feel like you're obligated to do the most boring part of my work. Oh, and uh, by the way, one of the other things that you can't, that, that because of that mob griefing rule we've got turned off, uh, snow golems can't plant ice underneath them anymore. I know you don't like snow golems. So. I don't, it's not that I dislike, okay, I don't dislike snow golems because they put ice on things. I dislike snow golems because you named one Fudzy and locked it in my house. <laughs> it's not their fault, it's your fault. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I, I, mis I misinterpret. Man Some goes. might say willfully. <laughs> Which he had previously abused. Man, the speed you get on farming with, um, with efficiency four picks, though. See, when Talon tries to sound really innocent about how he just, you know, wanted to make a cute little environment near my house and everything, I just want you to remember he also locked snow golems under my floor. Yeah. yeah. I thought it would be funny. But then he tried to make me feel guilty when they died. No, I felt bad when they died. Anyway. Which made me feel bad. I'm sorry you empathize for my feelings. I didn't intend for that to so happen. So am I! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> please. This went weird places. <laughs> Couples having empathy for one another's feelings. Please, this is a this is a Christian Minecraft server. 
Did you just land on something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, not so bad. The beat you're supposed to land on. Well, I mean, eventually everything you land on is a floor, right? No. Anyway. Sometimes you land on a random brick floating in the sky from a structure that used to be there, but you took it down because you're offended by it floating in the sky. Oh, that's right, because you fly, right. So you're going, when the heck is that going to happen? <laughs> You forget Monster has the power of flight. Yep. Hey, you found that pot. You found that buried treasure. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I mean, I planted things for you to find because I thought they'd be fun. They are. But really hard to find. I've got to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite glad. Like, I there's a there's a really big one that you've never found, and I'm just like, I'm figuring it's just because you've not, you haven't had a reason to go there. Uh. So it's not like, you know, ha, 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 Fox is silly. It's just, you know, eh, I've got around to it. I, mean, I haven't been exploring for a bit because every time I logged on, I tried to hollow out more of this stupid mountain. Yeah. Eh. Sometimes you're an explorer. Sometimes you're a mountain flattener. Uh, no. No. A fine and noble thing to be. Yeah. Given the amount of time I spent trying to make it so that cactuses uh, broke the rules of physics, I don't exactly see why you'd think I'd be critical if you wanted to flatten a mountain. Oof. Oh, God, it's so tedious. It has been a couple of minutes, and, you know, we have done a fair bit of progress off this mountain. I think you have a more efficient pick than me. I really do. Uh, efficiency 5. Which I believe is only available through shenanigans. See, here's the thing. Now that we've done this bit, we have to do this bit. I'm sorry, uh, I'm looking for you right now so to see what you're doing. Uh, it might be a bit of time for me to get up there. Uh, I, I don't. I can't fly. Um, I didn't fly. I just dug my way up. Oh, okay. Dig up, Talon. This bit? Yeah. Ah. So you got to do this entire hill. Oh, I reckon we can pull that off. You know, not super fast, but... Hold still for a sec. Cool. What? I had to. It was just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The alternative would be not throwing an egg at me. I, I can't imagine why that would happen. Yeah, that's stupid. A loser would do that. <laughs> what kind of fool do you take me for? Oh, these grass explodes. That dirt, rather. I have no idea how much damage I just what? did to the uh, to the to the scenery Shit. there. You dropped me down. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I hope a monster lands on you. She did. And it was the greatest Christmas gift of them all. Vengeance is done. I'm gonna. Am I gonna wake up and find that you put armor stands and lava in my house? Please. That sounds complicated and boring. Much more likely to beat me to death with a bag of pufferfish in my sleep. Dogs! Why do I keep having to remind you of this? Because the dogs won't do anything if I don't punch you first. Yeah, so I'll just punch you to death while my dogs watch. Hmm. An interesting scenario you outlined. <laughs> yeah. Hardly seems sporting, really. Yeah. Now you're catching on. Wow, this mountain is so much more dirt than I thought it would be. This is hilarious. Dirt, dirt, dirt. I suppose I better put some of that in a box. Am I full? Yeah, I'm, I am completely full. Let's we'll see if we can cram some of it. Yeah, I believe the shulker boxes were one of the um, rewards to find as well. Sure were. Oh my god, there's so much dirt now. 
I don't get crossbows. I, I ain't got no silk touch. I do. Oh. You were picking up stuff I dropped. Must have with, been. With my laser beam. Well, good news if we have any copious quantities of dirt and got some. Yep. I haven't even shown the video of the sorting system down in the house. D does that need dirt? No. Somehow dirt related? It's just got a lot of dirt in it. So, why in particular did you dig a, ch a channel there? What's um, the idea? It just tends to be how I like to deal with breaking up these big projects. Like, I'll draw a line through it, and then I'll say, alright, everything on this side of the line. And it's just it's just a thing. I, you know. I understand that, but wouldn't you start with an edge? No, I started with a channel. Now see, that's just weird. I get it. So uh, it's actually kind of reminiscent of how I used to deal with really repetitive tasks in schoolwork. Like I'd know, like I'd I'd do the I'd measure halfway through the page for all the lines I had to write, uh, and I'd start I'd start the first line there because then I'd be like, okay, so now I know at least when I'm halfway done. I understand that, but I don't understand not starting at the outer edge. Well, so maybe I'm just like bad at planning. Cutting yourself off from one side. Am I? I mean, yes, I had to dig stairs to get back up. Hmm. You could do the whole mountain. Yeah. And my shovel is already out. Well, let's head home. Wait and break it. I'm not a baby. Well, it's good to know. I'm glad you're not a baby. And I'm glad you haven't broken your shovel. Bonk. What? I, it sounds very <laughs> suspicious. I do not trust it. What the? You're all hearing this, right? Internet, I said, you know, I'm glad you're not a baby and I'm glad you didn't break your shovel. And she's the one going, hmm. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because <laughs> I'm glad things are going well for you. Back me up, Internet. That's weird. All right, well, I'm heading back home. Me too. It's this weird lighter green streak through the middle of it. Did oh. you see? Oh, yes, that's right. There was a... Yeah, yeah there, there's a biome strip. That's really weird. Um, But, yeah, that's right. This was um, this was where one of the puzzles was. Uh, In fact, if I remember correctly, there's a second puzzle here as well. Well, I don't know about that, but this was a weird clue that made me think I had to do something to do with eyes. Uh-huh. And what wound up being the solution? It was just sitting in a place. Yep. It was out in public, and when you were standing on top of the prize, you could see this spot with the the um portal. So, you know. Which is exactly the same as you could see it from here. Mm -hmm. Yep. T I mean, it turns out I didn't write a great clue. But you found it. That is accurate. That's cool. Mostly the first part. What? <laughs> you found it? That's no. The, accurate? <laughs> the bad clue part. Oh, yeah. I'm, so I'm sorry. You always make it seem like there's more to it than there is. If at first you want <laughs> this prize to see, you must answer riddles three. Is that another sign? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is for, this is for a different thing. You know I'm not with you, right? Yeah, I'm following you. <laughs> so much stuff. Bonus baked potato.
Hmm. It's like stuff from monsters trying to kill me. <clears throat> So yeah, this um, the house, the, the the whole area underneath the house had like long streams of andesite. Um, so while I was mining it out to make this, and then also mining all the way to the ground to make my initial mining area, I just wound up getting like a really disproportionately large quantity of andesite, and that's um that's why I have all this stuff, um, which I then made into these tunnels. Ah. Oh. Right, that's why your pickaxe is faster than mine. I don't have any efficiency. Ah. That would do it. Efficiency's really good. So I'd say it's definitely a lot more boring in that scenario. I uh, I have a lot of XP, so we should get some enchanting books from the nearby village and uh, possibly goose your stuff. I'm all for that. If I find it statistically unlikely, I will break them soon. Again. Hmm. Is this the area where I put those marks? I, I put maps on the walls in one of the forks just to show, like, hey, this is what the area you're going into looks I like. Down. I don't remember. <laughs> but you definitely did it? I'm sure Pumping I did it. That part. Man, look at how close these two channels are. That, that was a real mistake on my part. Yeah. Look, look over there. Wait, you're not behind me. What am I saying? Yeah. Oh, you move them on both sides going the same direction? That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Pretty sure I didn't do that. Yeah, and this one doesn't have the maps on it, so it must be the next one over. Whoopsie! Well, I ain't checking because I've only got one rocket left. So this is just a coastline. Oh no! Oh, oh wow! Oh my goodness! Um, yeah, I can see the other portal I built. That's embarrassing. Oh, that's my first part. Uh, tree house. uh no it's not that one but it does have this over here which is a thing i built out in the middle of the ocean uh because i didn't realize that there was another portal nearby that's really silly hmm. oh well it's kind of a cool looking thing and i'm glad i made it swim 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 All right. Yeah, this is a great big structure of honking great logs. So, uh, talent. Yeah. Let's say I wanted to use that XP to repair a thing. Okay. What would I do? And should I wait for you to come and look? Uh, I can absolutely come and have a look, but it's not necessary. What you do? Yeah, it's like is... you wanted to show it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what you do? is you make sure you have the item in your hand. Oh, the, the tool to be repaired. Yep. Main hand? Yeah. yeah. No, it's just the, like, it'll go through your items and divide up. So, like, it'll go through all your mending items. Okay. Uh, but turn off, there's a switch over by the thing, turn that off so that these items stop being passed through to the crate. Open a furnace and take out the item that's cooked. The, the die. And you should get a chunk of XP, and it should... That sure is fully repaired. Oh, the chest is full. <laughs> so, uh, good news, I didn't need to turn the item collection off, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I wondered why there were, like, 55 things in there. Well, so your, uh, so your things are fully repaired now? Yep. Yep. Alright, well, uh, let's turn this off so I can use this. Uh, I could fix my axe and my sword too, I guess, but it's hardly worth it. They have health bars, but they're not noticeably defeated. I mean, you know, it's worth that doing. That makes sense. No, no, I mean like it... Oh, yeah. They are depleted only enough to for the health bar to be visible. <laughs> not for it to appear to be missing anything. Okay, yeah, you're probably fine. Um, 
And that's what I put it. That's why over here I have this trash disposal where I put green dye. <laughs> where is over here? Yeah. Hey. How was that through there? This stuff. This is the thing you hear. Uh, this. You know, you, where you suggested I jump into yeah, it. Yeah, cool story. That looks so, so much like you're vomiting on me. <laughs> <laughs> the least efficient. <laughs> That's where I put my trash. I. Why are we friends? <laughs> <laughs> Like, diegetically, why are these characters even vaguely associated? I, I, I brought you bamboo. bamboo. Am I am I technically haunted? <laughs> I think it's very much like having a goblin living in your walls kind of thing. Uh, yes, you are definitely like a wall goblin. Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. just relax and lean in. Gross. Gross. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's a little tour of some of the stuff that Fox and I have done in Minecraft as expressed through a large number of dogs. Hey, did you show the garden? Hmm? The garden. The garden? The garden? Yeah. What garden? The, the vegetable patch. The massive oh, yeah. freaking vegetable garden out the front of the house. Oh, yeah, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? And they're all planted in rows because it makes them more efficient. <laughs> and here is our floor frog. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> I just broke some of my own ground. That's my fault. <laughs> Quick, throw organic potatoes at her. Okay, can you see me through the grate? Just. <laughs> and that takes us back down to the produce area. Yeah, for a time there I made a, ga a, ga a gimmick of like whenever Fox had a storage item I would fill it up with baked potatoes. Um, and the eventual realization was that because we were playing on Peaceful at the time, this was just creating a massive surplus of potatoes. Potatoes everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that there is our Minecraft world. Ah! Some stuff we've done together. That sound out there is Fox getting into some variety of trouble, so I'm going to need to go fix it and take care of her. <laughs> Trapped by a chair. Um, she's stuck by a chair, apparently. Um, I, this beats the time that she was thwarted by a chicken. Anyway. I'm not trapped. I'm hiding. Bye.